Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to restore your files, contacts, calendars, and reminders. This is for the people that are using their iPhone and maybe deleted a contact, deleted a file, a reminder, or changed something on a calendar and they lost the date. So maybe you go to your phone or your contacts app, you're scrolling through and you can't find that particular name. Uh, this will help you restore that. Same for the iCloud Drive app. So same thing with contacts here. The iCloud Drive app, if you go in there and you can't find a file, this will help you restore that as well. Now the catch to this whole thing is you have to have iCloud on and you have to have iCloud backup on. So to check that, you wanna to go to your settings and then you're going to want to scroll down until you get to iCloud, go into iCloud and scroll down again and go to backup. Now you want to make sure all these things are on as well, because if you don't have iCloud Drive on, you wouldn't be storing things there. That's the pretty obvious one. But you want to make sure that it's backing up your contacts with this switch. Make sure that it's also backing up your reminders or calendars, if that's what you want to keep backed up regularly. And make sure backup is on here. As long as all that's on, you're good to go. And then we'll have to go to a computer. For this part, you're going to need a computer, so you'll need to log into your Mac, your Windows computer, Linux, Chromebook, whatever you have. As long as it's connected to the internet and you can get to iCloud.com, launch your favorite browser and go to that particular site. So once you're at iCloud.com, you'll want to go and sign in. Now this address that you're going to use to sign in is the same address that you have your iCloud backup assigned to. So go ahead and sign in. Once you're signed in, you'll see all of the different apps and it may jump around a little bit depending on what you have there, but you wanna to go to the settings app right here. So go ahead and click on the settings app and once you're in there, you'll see all of your different information, your storage, your devices, family sharing, if you have that set up. And then down at the bottom, what we wanna look at is advanced. So under advanced, we have restore files, restore contacts, restore calendars and reminders. Now these particular things have a couple different catches with them. So maybe you wanna restore some files when it comes to iCloud and iCloud Drive. You deleted a file in iCloud Drive in one of your apps and you need to get it back. So once this loads, you'll be able to do that and we'll wait for it to load here a moment. Now that it's loaded, you can see all of your different files. So just go ahead and scroll through. You could select all. You can sort by name, date deleted, and it keeps track of what you've deleted. So maybe we want to restore, eh, these are all currently there, but select that one, hit restore file, and restore complete. So that will restore on my actual device that I'm using. It will restore on all of my devices. So that's one of the catches. So as long as you're signed in with this iCloud address on those devices, it will actually sync between all of them. So you wanna make sure that uh, you realize this will go across to everything. So now maybe we wanna restore some contacts. Maybe we deleted someone's name. So let's go to restore contacts up here. Now the bad thing about this is it restores all contacts, but the good thing is it actually archives your current contacts so that you can restore from them later if you need to as well. So maybe we want a backup that we knew we deleted a name we needed from say July 31st. We click on July 31st, we click restore, and it gives us a warning because it's actually going to archive all of our contacts, like I said, and then overwrite all of them on every single device connected to iCloud. So it's good and bad, you'll get the contact you may have deleted, but you may have to go back and restore the current archive. You can't do this one by one. So hopefully they update this in the future, but this is a nice little way to get your contacts back. Now the same goes for calendars. So if we go into calendars, we'll wait for it to load. And you'll see there's an archive of calendars and reminders to restore. So this is kind of combined. And again, we can click on the date we want and all sharing information will be removed. You can see there's warnings at the bottom of each one of these pages. So you'll have to share these calendars and reminders again or ask their owners to share them. Again, all scheduled events will be canceled and, and recreated and invitations reissued. So it basically is a fresh start and we'll send out all of those different invitations and you'll have to do the friend invites and things all over again, but you can restore them. So if I hit restore, it's going to warn you one more time and then you can hit restore. That's how you restore everything to your different devices. So it's pretty straightforward. 
but in the same sense, you will lose the current information and have to do a little bit of extra work, but it is there if you need it. And it's one nice feature that uh, hasn't really been there before. Apple was nice enough to update this. Now that we're restored to our device, we can go to our device, whatever that is, iPad, iPod, iPhone, Mac, and check out what we might have lost. So we can go back and check out the notes or check out phone contacts or anything else, and they should be restored. Now it may take a little bit of time, but it will restore and you'll be able to get them again if you need to, if you delete anything by accident. So it's a really nice feature that they've built in and definitely something I'd like to see them continue to do and improve upon, maybe do contact by contact. And that would be really nice for just about everybody, I think, at this point. So let me know if you have any comments or questions. Maybe you found some other tips to go along with this. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like the video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.